This employment law video is on demotion. When demoting staff, employers have to tread carefully and make sure that they're not breaching the employment contract. Altering employee duties. Demoting does not just occur when an employee is demoted to a lower position. It could also occur where an employee's responsibilities and duties are taken away from them. If the contract sets out the employee's duties and responsibilities, and some or all of these duties and responsibilities are taken away from the employee, this could be a breach of an express term of the contract. In the employment contract, there is often a clause that states that an employer may from time to time assign additional duties to the employee as may be required by the business. There would usually be an implied term read into the contract that these additional duties should be the same in terms of status and responsibilities, formal demotion. An employer must have a contractual right to demote. ACAS is, that's the Advisory Conciliation and Arbitration Services Code of Practice on Disciplinary and Grievance Procedures, states that the usual sanctions would be a warning, a final warning, or dismissal. The ACAS relevant guide states that if any other sanctions were imposed, it would normally need to be stated in the employment contract or the employee's consent would be required. An employee may consent though. Supposing an employee's actions justified dismissal, but the employer was willing for them to continue, all but in another role. The employee may accept another role, even if the status was lower, and the salary, for example, was less, if that meant that the employee was not going to be dismissed. Constructive unfair dismissal. If the employer takes away part of the employee's role or formally demotes the employee without justification, the employee could consider resigning and bringing a claim of constructive unfair dismissal. Generally, employees are required to have at least two years continuous service with the employer to be able to bring an unfair dismissal claim. To succeed in a claim, the employee needs to resign swiftly as a result of a fundamental breach of the employment contract. This could be a breach of a major express term, or it could be a breach of a key implied term, such as a breach of the implied term of trust and confidence. The maximum compensatory award is the lower of 52 weeks pay or the current fixed cap. Prior to issuing a claim in the employment tribunal, it would be necessary to follow ACAS's early conciliation process. Any claim must usually be filed within three months less a day from when the employment ends, and that's subject to the early conciliation rules for extending time. An employee may of course have other claims too, such as for discrimination. That's my video on demotion. The usual caveat is that this video is for guidance only and should not be relied upon for specific advice. For more information, do visit my website. And if you're interested in receiving notifications on other employment law videos, do subscribe to my channel.